After the Vindicator got buffed in the last update, people started crying about how absurdly broken it is with its high damage and long mobility, but most annoyingly of all, its gigantic and absurdly stupidly massive AoE. This caused the people's opinion on Warrior to take a nosedive just like this guy did off the step stones as being one of the most annoying classes to fight against, but still nothing compared to Warlocks, I will not change my opinion on that, those are fucking... Uh, uh. Paired with the Trias, the Ravenna Greatsword and Vindicator, you have essentially the strongest warrior build you can get currently in Arcane Odyssey, but as a guy who PvPs a lot in Arcane Odyssey, here's something that might surprise you, or at least if you're just a casual player. The Vindicator is actually... kinda shit. No, really. Most people view the Vindicator as some kind of insta-kill, death move, broken as hell, cheat weapon because of everything I've just said, but I have one strategy that works incredibly well against the Vindicator, one that completely renders it useless against yourself and turns the Vindicator back into a what it was pre-update. And what is this cheat code strategy, you may ask? What I'm about to tell you must be kept secret because it is so useful against Vindicator and dangerous against your enemy that they'll cry and scream and report you for cheating now that their meta weapon looks like it was worth a single galleon. Just like today's sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> the Galleon is an arcane Odyssey trading server created with the goal of solving a problem you see with a lot of players, from veteran players to even the newest of players having little knowledge of the current market prices of the most frequently traded items in the game. By using the expertise of some of the most experienced traders in the community, they have created a value list with every seasonal, sunken and pretty much any item of value in the game. So never get scammed in a trade again with the knowledge of the most accurate values in the game by joining the Galleon Discord server through the invite link in the description down below. And that strategy I was talking about is to simply press G. Like literally, I don't even see how this is even remotely difficult. As soon as you see someone launch at you at hypersonic speed with fucking Thor's hammer, you literally just press G. And that instantly halves or even almost completely negates their damage if your timing is good. Basically parrying. And actually, I'm gonna be honest here, the Vindicator is shit, and it sucks because of its one weakness that you can so easily exploit and take advantage of, and that is its end lag. You simply just have to parry their attack and counter attack during their end lag, and you basically have just easily won the exchange, and they will probably be wondering why their Vindicator is dealing like 50 damage like a punch they throw in their dreams. And this essentially just renders their Vindicator just completely useless. And I know, I know a lot of you may be saying, but, 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 but I can't parry you because my G key is sticky from all the hot Cheeto dust that's melted underneath her, I'm just not good enough for whatever bullshit you can come up with. Like seriously, you, you literally, all you have to do is just press a key and it negates their attack, like I don't see how this is difficult at all. So I really don't understand personally why everyone says Vindicator is broken, because if they actually had any real experience or brain cells in PvP, they would actually know it just simply isn't. It is literally only broken if you fight against noobs who have ADHD and simp for iris and cannot see their keys in the keyboard or something like that. In that case, sure, it'll be broken because you'll just demolish their HP, but apart from that, there is really nothing else to the Vindicator. One thing about the Vindicator, though, that I will say is good is that it's good for wars in Arcane Odyssey because literally the only thing that matters in a battle between multiple different people at once is AoE. You cannot really block or parry against the Vindicator if there is multiple people fighting each other with within a 10 meter vicinity, so I will give credit to it in that case. But in 1v1s, it's basically a useless weapon and would only really work if your opponent is just basically... shit. So on that note, here is a short montage of me fighting Vindicator users and demonstrating what I'm talking about.